Hi, welcome back to Barry T's Garage. I'm Barry T, and I am at Five Star Engines. And Ed Smith is going to give us a little update on his Model T engine modified. Okay, what have you been up to in the last few days? Oh, I've come to work a couple of days here this week and got a few things done, and I really like to get done with the Model T motor. Uh huh. We've had it here for a um, over six months, probably nine months, figuring out all the problems. Again, we had 20 problems with it, and, and so we end up with uh, maybe 35 or 40 problems. Yeah. If, you know, we had to fix each one of them and everything. You don't know to the next day what's what's going to happen. So mm -hmm. we got that all solved, and we're just trying to get to put back together again and clean up some parts and had to make a little a couple gaskets and stuff and change the head bolts on it and to a better head bolt. Stronger grade eight bolt and stuff like that. And so okay. this is some of the the guts inside the transmission shift mechanism. Huh. It shifts the bands. There's a bunch of levers here and stuff that foot pet foot letters letter where well, yeah, you push your the... foot and then they would pinch the bands. There's three bands and so the three bands would sit in here and that would pinch the bands and make it back up or stop. Okay. Or else, uh, go forward. That's about it. About as primitive as you can get. Now, how does that work? How does it pinch? Well, the, these shafts are on a centric. They go in and out. As you push okay. the pedal down, down, it just squeezes the band. I see. Yeah. So the band just gets clamped. I clamped guess. Clamped in there. Yeah. yeah. Three oh, okay. bands, and that's what. Oh, I see. So we get over at the motor. Then we got that pretty well all assembled. Uh huh. Uh, and then at the end of the transmission and the part of it, and here's the three bands. And right. what we're going to do is just plastic tie them together. That's loose enough that we can set that on there because it has an open cover. And we'll put all these together here and make sure it's okay and put a little silicone around here. And I'm sure when they made this, they didn't have silicone. They probably didn't have silicone and they probably, did. probably no. didn't have zip ties either. They probably didn't have zip ties. So <laughs> they had, I know they had a, a special tool they did that, but I don't have okay. that. And this is part of that magnetic part of it. These are magnets. Well, look at that. They, yeah, your they, wrench yeah. wants to stick to it. Yeah. it that, there's a good demo. It's a magnet, all right. Yeah. Each one of these is a magnet that caused electricity in the engine while it was new. Uh -huh. They didn't have a battery. So right. we've converted this all over to an alternator and electronic ignition and things like this instead of having a... They used to have a box up here with some wooden cells, like wooden uh, coils, uh -huh. four in a box. And then when this thing would light it, it would spark that coil. Okay. And make it spark the spark plugs. Okay. So there was really never a battery in this car. No this is kidding. This had enough electricity once you started to run two headlights and one tail light. Okay. There was no computer, no cigarette lighter, or nothing like this. No, in this that's car. all there was, right? That's it. There was two headlights and a tail light. Okay, so uh so. now how did you we were talking about this whole idea of a spacer or how are you getting because you have that oversized crank in Well, here. we just never put the spacer in it because I don't think, I have no idea. I, nobody's ever explained to me why it would possibly work. Right. Because so. now we can see how when you've got this put together, how that oil pan, which is very stout. Yes, yeah, one uh, big piece oil pan. It's one pan. piece. It, it, it has a connection with the crank, the hand crank to the... The yeah. front of the crankshaft and it goes all the way through to the back. Yeah. Then if you was to lower this pan down. Right. With a spacer under the block, this shaft here would not be center line to this. Right. The pan would be down three quarters of an inch and the drive shaft would not go in the hole. Right. Yeah, it wouldn't so line up. I, I can't think that that would work. And, and they still make spacers where you can buy them, but I don't know how they work. Right. Especially since, make... as you said, you've even got engine mounts yes attached to this yeah so and that would lower all that stuff the, the spacers things well, if this were don't need spacer i don't know what never okay works. we'll have to solve that mystery another day yeah, another day yeah <laughs> when somebody shows me a spacer right one of the guys i talked to said he does have an engine with a spacer in it okay but i know uh, i'll talk to him more please ask him to send a picture yeah yeah we'll see <laughs> okay so uh it seems like you really are. And we're putting on an aluminum under. head instead of a cast iron head. Oh. The original head is over there and it was a cast iron head. So oh. this head here is a little bit more compre more compression. So maybe it has a little bit more power. Okay, so 
So that's more compression from the head in addition to more compression from your longer stroke. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. you've got a few things going on. We might on. put it, usually put out 20 horsepower on new. And we're trying to get 40. Okay. On the same exhaust and anything. I think we can. Okay, yeah. And you got 20. This is very long to, hard to get double that. But when you got 400, you can't hardly get 800 out Doubling right. 400. That is costs a little more money than what we spent. <laughs> right. Yeah, so it's easier with the smaller stuff you're right yeah excellent so you think you might be shipping this off in the next week or I'll so i'll have the customer come get it i'll take it over to his house okay now, he lives over here i'm maybe three or four miles away uh -huh. and uh we'll just take it over there and he can, he can put it in the car okay well maybe we'll get him to uh get us a picture of it installed yeah. i just want to show this uh distributor like this kind of modification where it was this accessory with the distributor that is yeah. added on. There you go. With that. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it's great to see this thing finished up. I know. I'm excited to get done. Yeah. You're going to give us a, a sneak peek into what's next? What's the next oh, project? I don't know. You don't know yet? I have no idea. I haven't decided. i got this flathead motor going. And I've got to ship this to a guy in Texas. Okay. And he's restoring his car, his truck. So I've been working on it, putting this and different, different things. And when I get tired working on the Model T motor, I go spend a little time on his motor. But, uh, and I've got some of that done. Okay. So we'll, we'll get his motor to him soon. Very good, Ed. Thank you for sharing this. This great. is great.